Hello, welcome back to Tronics in 10. My name is Brian, and in part two of this series, we're going to pick up where we left off with part one. We have uh, some more parts to add to our first stage, uh, the FET transistor. I have one more resistor to solder down in that stage, as well as a few capacitors that we need to install. And then we will move on to the second stage, which will be our RF amplifier. Thanks for joining, and I'll be right back. Okay, we'll get started with part two. We have one more resistor to add to our FET stage, our FET transistor. Uh, this resistor that I'm connecting to the source lead of the transistor is a 470 ohm resistor and the color code is yellow, violet, brown. And I have one end connected to the the uh, source lead of the FET transistor, and we're going to solder that down here quick. And then the other end of this resistor will go to ground on our circuit board, just like that. And that does it for the resistors that make up. Uh, the first stage, which is uh, actually a, a buffer stage. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to add uh, the capacitors to this stage. And the first one that I'm uh, going to install is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And that will go to the drain lead of the FET and the other end will go to ground and this will uh, put the uh, drain circuit to uh, ground as far as the uh, RF is concerned the the radio frequency uh, signal uh, it's essentially uh, grounded out on the uh, drain circuit and doing this uh, establishes that we're using a common drain uh, circuit which is a common configuration for a buffer circuit. Now this particular capacitor is uh, rated at 50 volts. It's really has a much higher voltage rating than it needs and hence uh, the, the larger size. Uh, as long as you have a capacitor that is uh, at least uh, 16 volts, uh, you can use it in this part of the circuit. Uh, a 50 volt size is fine, it just takes up a little more space. It's just physically larger than it needs to be. Uh, okay, I clipped off the uh, excess lead length and I'll turn this around so you can uh, see it a little bit better. Uh, we have uh, one lead of the capacitor going to the drain lead of the FET and then the other lead is soldered down onto the ground plane of the circuit board. Okay, and then we have another capacitor that we're going to install and this is a 0.047 microfarad uh, capacitor and it's going to go on the gate lead of the FET and it provides uh, DC isolation and it is uh, actually how we're going to hook up our 
uh, antenna line. Um, uh, the, the cable that goes to our antenna coil. And we'll uh, solder the lead to uh, the gate lead of the transistor. And we'll snip off the excess. Okay, so uh, this end, which uh, really doesn't need to be that long, uh, the free end of this capacitor will connect to the uh, twisted uh, wires that go to our antenna coil. Uh, we'll probably save that for last because uh, we still have components to mount on the board and we're going to be moving the board all over the place and we don't want to, uh, to stress out the antenna coil that we made in, in the last video. But when it comes time to hook that up, uh, the yellow lead will connect here and the green lead of the twisted uh, pair of wires uh, will connect here uh, to the ground of the circuit board. And it's, it's good to have a little bit of isolation. Um, if you happen to uh, have a DC voltage come in contact with your antenna coil, you don't want that voltage feeding into uh, the gate circuit of the FET. You could uh, possibly burn it out. So for a little bit of protection, uh, we add this uh, capacitor and that provides a little more isolation. So uh, that's it for uh, the components that need to go on our FET buffer stage. Uh, there is uh, one more item. Uh, it's going to be a coupling capacitor that will go from the source lead of the FET over to the base uh, lead of the next stage which is an RF amplifier stage. So we will uh, now get that part installed uh, at least to uh, get a good start on it. Okay this is the MPN transistor that we're going to use for our RF amplifier stage. It is a uh, uh, 2N3904 or similar to a 2N3904. It's just a common uh, MPN transistor and the pinout on my particular device with the flat side facing you and the leads pointing downward <coughs> uh, left to right it's going to be emitter, base, and collector. So we're going to solder this into place so we can start connecting parts to it. Okay, I have my MPN transistor stage uh, mounted. I uh, soldered down the ears uh, here and here. Uh, the same uh, pieces of wire that hold the perf board together when we uh, modularized our transistor. Uh, we also use those ears uh, as a means to solder down on the circuit board. So uh, we got enough time to add a part or two, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to start with a, another 470 ohm resistor. Color code is yellow, violet, brown. And that's going to go to the emitter lead of our MPN transistor. And squeeze the wire together. And solder this down. then solder the other end down to the circuit board just like that okay and then the next resistor that we're going to solder down is going to be a 4.7k uh, 4700 ohm and the color code of that is yellow violet red 
and that's going to go from the base lead of the transistor uh, to ground. Uh, the base lead I have coming out the back side of, of the perf board and we're going to solder that uh, next. One end goes to the base and the other end goes to ground. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have in this episode of Tronics in 10. We got a good start on our RF amplifier uh, that utilizes a 2N3904 series uh, MPN transistor. So when we come back, we're going to put down some more resistors and capacitors. Uh, I thank you for watching this episode of Tronics in 10. My name is Brian, and I hope you have a good time building projects on your workbench. Have a good day. Bye-bye.